Here are some tips on choosing and creating templates for hot wire cutting. First step is to find the airfoil you want to make. Uh, just do a search for it online and find a, a, an image, copy it, and then we go and print it. In the print dialog box you should get a chance to scale the printout. And this is where I size my templates to what I need. It's not very scientific but I tend to do a print measure the final size of the printout, make adjustments to the scale and then print again. You can make templates in many different ways and these are a few of the different methods that I've tried. This one's made from uh, fiberboard or, or you can make it out of ply and it works quite well but it's quite hard to cut the shape and smooth it down very fiddly. Uh, this one is uh, cardboard, thick cardboard and that's an upper and lower template. Works well for quite thin wings, but I really prefer these um, aluminium, thin aluminium sheet templates. You can just cut them out with scissors very, very quickly and easily. If you're wondering what template, what particular airfoil to choose, there are some good basic ones. There's the Clark Y, which is just the, the stock standard, uh, very commonly used wing airfoil. Uh, for most trainers. It makes a good, easy to fly trainer style wing. Uh, for gliders, the RG15 is another, they say it's the, the Clark Y of the glider world. Uh, for flying wings, you need a little bit of uh, reflex in the back part of the airfoil, so the SIP kill is uh, another good standard airfoil to use. For this is the thin aluminium sheet that I use. I think it's window flashing, I'm not too sure. But I just take the printed out airfoils and glue them on using spray adhesive. Messy stuff this, getting it all over my hands, which is horrible. And then you can just cut the airfoil out using scissors. I wouldn't use very good quality scissors for this because you'll probably blunt them pretty quickly. To give a good lead into the cut at the trailing edge where I start my cuts, uh, I tend to have a, a nice long tail uh, added on to the end of the airfoil. That way you can uh, rest the hot wire on that tail before you start cutting into the foam. I have also started folding over uh, that lead in tail just to make it a bit stiffer uh, so that it doesn't bend. And finally I need to punch some holes uh, using the, the pins that I um, secure the templates into the foam with and it, that's reasonably easy just to push holes through the aluminium. I have been using five holes, one at the front, one towards the back, one in the middle and then two others in between those. To size up the blank piece of foam that I'm going to use for the wing, I'll take the template and line up the leading edge with the front edge of the piece of foam the trailing edge, I just need to leave about a centimetre of uh, lead-in tail overhanging the back. So that's about the right size. So I'll just measure that on this. It's uh, 21 and a half centimetres, so 21 and a half centimetres is the size that I'll cut out.